what is life like in Siksika? Six, in Siksika, it's beautiful. You know, uh, we strive, we strive to be the best that we can in this community. This is my land and I, I respect it. I'm from here and I'm proud of it as well. The, the buffalo, it provided the survival for, for our people. So because the buffalo provided you know, the shelter, the food, the medicines and so forth. And our ancestors did follow them. They migrated with them. We were unsure whether baby was going to be white or brown. And to see baby so pure white, it was a blessing. And there have been uh, people from all over Canada stopping in to receive blessings from the new white buffalo snow moon. Through history and stories, the white buffalo is considered as, 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 a, as hope. The corral behind me. These are people that are given offerings. In our culture, the, buff the white buffalo is the spirit animal. So they, they come to place offerings of cloth, ribbon, tobacco, sweet grass. That's for prayers for their family or for their loved ones. I, I just sense hope from all indigenous people that, you know, there's a reason why the white buffalo came. To me, I always felt it was the Creator gave it to us. The reason why the buffalo are here because our people are hurting. When I got that call, my phone said RCMP. And they said, do you have a son named Christian? And I was like, what? Christian? They said he got shot and he passed away. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember jumping around and yelling, my boy, my boy, not Christian, no! No, 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 not Christian, no! I did my tobacco tie and we'll pray with it as we put it up to the buffalo. The loss of my son has been a very tragic loss and just for healing for myself, for my children, to continue on in a good way, with a good heart. I'm thankful Chester came. I actually took him in as my ceremonial dad after my dad had passed on and he's been a true father. And so when we lit the smudge, he says, okay, let's go pray to them. And he called upon them. He prayed in our Blackfoot language. And the buffalo, he said some, he said my name. And the buffalo looked at me and he, he did a, he kind of raised his head at me. And, and I was like, wow. And then he went back to the smudge and he was smelling the smudge. You can tell and you can feel the love and it felt beautiful. <laughs> the buffaloes are my grandfather. These buffaloes, they listen to you when you pray. They'll help you like that. I told them uh, to keep helping the people, our people.
feel, I could feel it. Our way is really strong. It's a healing journey that we all need to do against racism and to change the world, to make the world a better place. Strathmore and Sixaga need to work together. We do have quite a bit of uh, Strathmore town people that come here. And I, I shouldn't say shocked, but I was kind of overtaken by non-Indigenous people coming here. And they provide offerings, and I thought, you know, if I see someone emotionally crying from there, that's a blessing we have. They're coming out, so it's just open arms. Today's day and age, like, you know, it's working together to prosper. And that's why he's here today. It's basically for the people. That's what it is. Doesn't matter where you come from. <laughs>